Are you gonna hurt me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So the Cine call was uploaded yesterday and I made a video about the Kumo thing and he's calling out Cine, he's calling out his own mistakes and he's also calling out just a robot and all these things and then he's coping about it saying that they were right but they're still wrong at the same time. All that fun out the way, we have a more serious topic to tackle that's in this call and it's the absolute neglect and silence from Cine Bear. Now, I could post a bunch of clips like the one where she's like, what are you gonna do, hurt me? Are you gonna hurt me? There's a whole bunch of stuff and there's just a whole bunch of silence in this call from her. Not really saying much, but here's my big problem with Cine. Cindy, I'm going to talk to you directly, bro. You need to get offline. Go get actual help. Just, it's not, place is obviously not meant for you. Responsibility is obviously too much for you to train yourself from having these interactions with minors. And then on top of that, the people that were close to you and defending you publicly had told you not to even talk to just a robot and you've betrayed their trust and everything like that as well. We were trying to make sure you were like, you would stop and slow down and make the right decisions for yourself. I, I genuinely don't believe you would have made any police reports or anything to get your life in order if we hadn't been here to and coach you and push you along. Mm. What I said on Beckett's stream, you you somehow made yourself a victim in that because I said the ideal outcome is that you make IRL friends and you don't need us anymore. That was not at all mean-spirited or something you should have taken offense to. You should have real life friends who care about you so that you don't ha you don't need your internet friends anymore. That is ideally the most healthy outcome for you. That com that came from a place of caring and you somehow in victimizing yourself made it seem like we didn't care because I said that. Kumo here sounds really smart during the call at times. He also sounds really fucking dumb in other instances, but his advice for you during the scenario seems like to be the smartest one you should have taken into consideration. It was probably the best outcome for you to listen to what he had to say. And then his defense on you kind of just made things worse as well, just like just a robot because he's essentially safeguarding a predator. Well, through this whole entire video, I'll link to link the call if you guys want to check it out before. I really don't want to go back and find the timestamps, but through this whole entire video, it's it's just a shock to me. Everybody seems shocked. Everybody seems upset that she's lying. Are you guys really mad that a predator would lie? A predator lying? Unbelievable. I've never heard of it before. That's insane to me, right? And this uh, stuff really just really messes with me. And I get Akumo's got a knot in his stomach and stuff like that because of what Cine was actually doing. The intent was actually there. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know if it's like this radar that I got, uh, a red flag thing. I don't know what it is. But when Cine was talking, bro, instantly, bro, I instantly knew. And, you know, I truly, I'd really, truly try to give everybody a fair shake. And that's what Akumo's problem with the commentary community was, is that, uh, that we don't really give them a fair shake to pan things up. We hear one thing, we run with it, red alert. Red alert, red alert, red alert, bad, 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 and uh, it's almost bad faith in a way, but this was not the scenario to even do that in. You have another question for me? You want to know what specifically is wrong with me? Is it going to help you? Is it going to make you feel any better? I'll just, why the fuck? I... Why the fuck? I don't, I, I don't have any more empathy for you. Uh, quite frankly, I don't appreciate being lied to, let alone to this extent. I'm actually... Despite what people think, or despite, you know, what I make people think, I'm a very forgiving person. I'm a very compassionate and empathetic person. And just like everyone else, I have a tolerance. And you've surpassed that tolerance. I mean, we kind of really got lucky that they blew the gate open with this one, but I think it was more or less some background interactions or background uh, interference, if you will, that she ended up coming forward about these situations. Had Cindy not been caught, uh, who knows? how long they would have gone on. And that's the case for a majority of predators. They don't have a fine line. They don't have a timeline when they're gonna out themselves. They don't have a timeline of when they're gonna come forward and come clean about things. They're gonna keep going until they get caught. And that's the situation we have with Cindy here. Cindy just lied, 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 lied all the way through this entire call. It's an hour long call, guys. If you have not watched it, go check it out. If you have not saw my video yesterday, go check it out. But Cindy is just absolutely in line to this entire thing. There's no shred of honesty. Can we even be surprised that this person, Cindy Bear, who has repeat offenses, repeat bad behavior, repeat objections to what is morally right on the internet. Are we really surprised that this person never thought they were in the wrong? They say that. They simply say that, that she didn't think she was doing anything wrong. I don't think she's very much in the, in the well with all to know that she's doing things wrong. Obviously, she hasn't figured it out yet. That she's the one doing the wrong. Never going to figure it out. And I honestly think her apology for the first time she did it i don't even really think it was that big a deal romeo and juliet things 17 and 19 that's not a big deal to me right but i think they just came out and said that it was wrong because it was the best way to go through the emotions and it was almost like they were reading off a script because they've seen it happen so many times before on the internet right to say all that in a script and still not understand that even if you said it was wrong and not understand why it was wrong to even do it again in a more extreme version of it you know what i mean bigger age gap there's nothing genuine there crazy to me though that they're all in this call all three of these people and they're talking to Cindy 
any as if Cindy themselves is like a child, like a kid. You know what I mean? This is sad. Like this is an adult. I, I, there's something in Cindy's brain that has not been fully developed. I honestly think it's the lack of real life intervention, the lack of uh, real life motives, motivations, anything, bro. It's stuck online. Once they make online their whole life, they're gone with the wind. If someone looking, you know, from the outside in would see the situation and be like, yeah, they're weird. I don't know why it, got, it took you guys two weeks to figure this out. You know I mean, and I guess that's more of a criticism towards Kumo and everybody else, but I saw that right away. Damning thing here. It was just not the, not the negation of, of the predatory stuff. It's just that the fact and admittance of she had Eno read the comic out. That's insane. Ladies and gentlemen, we we're right at the end of the day. Commentary W. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're right. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is this is disgusting behavior. I really think, Cindy, you need to get offline. It's insane. It's Cindy Bear Rant over. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Subscribe if you're new and I'm out of here.